Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to check out Eve's Drop Brewing Company. It's a place we've been a few times before, um, but since we've been, we've moved out here and they've renovated. So we're gonna go check out what they have to offer now. Shop collaborated with Eugene's Sausage and Fries and opened up a storefront right next to the brewery. So if you're hungry, you can always pop in there and get some good eats. So I ended up getting the brand new wheat beer. I think this is a brand new beer for them that just released. It's a really good uh, wheat beer. I mean, it's got, you know, your typical notes of uh, coriander and you know, a lot of weedy character to it. It's got that typical Belgian yeast flavor that you, you know, expect from a wheat beer. Um, they garnished it with a little orange, which I thought was really nice. A uh, little classy touch there. Something I didn't expect from, from him. Yeah, <laughs> I got a uh, New England style IPA. It's called a Good X's. It's a hazy 7.1% uh, good beer. It's, it's a traditional New England style IPA. You get a lot of tropical notes, tangerine, some pineapple. It's a little on the sweet side, hmm. uh, but that's right up my alley. That's what I love to drink. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's you all the way. They were nice enough to give us a can of this dog beer. I've never seen this stuff before, but apparently Allie has had this uh, in the past. This particular flavor is called crotch sniffing ale, uh, and it's got peanut butter and cinnamon sticks, peanut butter broth, cinnamon sticks, and water. So pretty, pretty simplistic, I guess, for um, a dog and uh, we'll see if she likes this flavor. We'll have to put her on the channel and have her do a, a dog beer review at some point soon. So stay tuned for that. Eve's Drop sits on a pretty big swath of land in between some apartment buildings and the main road over here in Manassas, Virginia. It features a two level structure with seating on the top, some shaded areas, A lot of fire pits. The spruce tip saison that we had last time we were here actually was grown on site and harvested for the use in that beer, which is pretty cool. Interesting backstory to Eve's Drop is that the building used to be a pigeon roost and they used to house racing pigeons here. They're taking over an adjacent location to support their expansion efforts pretty soon here, and that'll be open in a few weeks. I think they've got a couple seven barrel fermenters going in there. That'll be really cool and allow for a lot more production capabilities. Hopefully we'll see some cans in the future. All right, we're back. We got two new beers. I got this Pilsner, which I've had before a few times. It's an on and off rotation kind of thing, which eh, that, that, I wish it was just constant because it's actually really good. It's got this really dense body for a Pilsner. Um, really <laughs> kind of straight hoppy character to it. I really like it. It's almost pale ale territory to be honest with you. And then we got this crazy pink thing, which is Glitterberry. It is a, I'm not sure if yeah, it even picks up that color. It. It's like super, super crazy. There's like this like halo of like glitter swirls just at the top, like silver glitter swirl. It it's looks really, really strange. It's <laughs> really glittery. There's a lot of glitter in that. It reminds me of the Duclaw unicorn farts, but pink. This almost looks like um, like the uh, the pink stuff you used to drink as a kid whenever you got sick. Oh, the diamond, uh, the uh, not diamond tap. Is um, it amoxicillin? What is it called? Yes, amoxicillin. It was so good. It's that like is the best good. Medicine ever. If there's, I I always say like if there's ever a disease that I have that can be fixed with antibiotics, just give me that stuff. Yeah. So I'll down the whole bottle and I'll be cured instantly. Now he did say this is super sweet. It's not super sweet, but it's more along the lines of like fruit punch. 
Oh wow, that's really good. Yeah. That does taste like a fruit punch. Yeah, it is sweet. It's like uh, fruit juice, like Capri Sun kind of fruit punch sweet, but it's not that sweet. Yeah, like, it's, it's like, still like somewhat of like a beer. It's got a really like nice, refreshing kind of berry thing happening, mm -hmm. like a pink berry almost. Not the yogurt, but the a berry that is pink. It's interesting, yeah, it's really tasty. I think breweries that do this sort of thing, oh, should it be, oh, fuck. I got it everywhere. I gotta go clean up. Eavesdrop was the location of one of our very first brew reviews, believe it or not, and since that time, they've dumped a ton of money into this place and added all kinds of new stuff, just making it that much more amazing every time we come back. Eavesdrop also features a bottle shop directly on site. a quick look at eavesdrop in its current situation. I think they've done an excellent job renovating the place and making it more modernized and adding different areas and spaces and activities for people to do. I think it's great. Um, so anyways, that's it. So until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Mm -hmm.